dreams that we got pursue. I mean, we all got dreams that we got believe in. I mean, we all got targets that we got achieve. So how can I rest when I got family to feed? I mean, with my intuition, I'll make wise decision. I'll navigate the chaos and avoid collision. Stick to the program and follow my vision. I'm just trying to keep it real. I got a legacy to build. Yo, I do it for my brothers, do it for my future son. We were just on block life, but look what we become. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy HUN Tizzy and we're back again. It's the Golden Era UK Rap Podcast. Can I get a round of applause? Okay, 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 okay. Just to make sure that the energy is always correct. You get me? Big up everyone at home. I hope that you're doing good. Um, yeah, we're going to go through the normal due diligence that I do at the beginning of the show because the people, they can already see who's there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we kind of just try and get straight to it. Okay. So, yeah, let's big up. Uh, big up Wagwan, that's the sponsor right there. Wagwan, big up yourself, you get me. Um, Consume London, the apparel, um, the link's in the description. So if you want any of the stuff, any of the stuff that you see, you like, purchase that, you get me, like, help a brother out. Um, shout out, no invite, yeah, but, but, but. Shout out, Stashbox Studios. Shout out, Kofi's Kitchen, down at Millmead Business Centre. You can get your foods. Um, and shout out Chancey T-A-W on the visuals. See how quick that was? Yeah, no, yeah you're professional. Yeah. You see how quick that was? That's <laughs> straight, straight through. So, yeah, because before we even get in, I've got another one for them. Because this is all about the engagement. This one is a Who Said. Now, i got one for you a little bit later. But you can take part in this if you want. But it really is for the people at home. Okay, cool. You get me? Cool. But this is a Who Said. So this is for the people that was like, you know what I mean? These are familiar bars. You, you was listening, you know what this is. All right, so let me tell you about the block pattern, the block smashing, the rock bagging. I ain't talking about violence when I say a brother flang a box at him. Who said that bar? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's obvious, man. <laughs> they leave some comments below. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, innit? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. an algorithm team. That's what yeah, we're trying to do yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so anyway, so let's get into this now. The golden era. Mm. Now, we had, like, conversations off camera mm. about how important this time that we're talking about is. Yeah, 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 because course. it's a lineage thing. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that is happening now come from, from somewhere. Yeah, I'm yeah. not saying we're the beginning, but I'm saying... Yeah, there's a, li yeah, there's a lineage. There's, definitely there's a lineage. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happened. So I feel like it's important to talk to the people from them times. And that's what my quest has been on been for the last let's say three years mm. i'm on series six now so i've been getting bare different people from different walks and different places in the golden era mm. to come and tell their Some story stories, yeah now you're someone yeah that i thought of to get on before but because you're <laughs> popular now mm. so sometimes people only talk about what you're doing now, now yeah, yeah and they sometimes forget other yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. we'll get into it later recently of recently you've made it be known that no actually because you know what i'm saying you've made it be known no i'm a rapper yeah yeah i'm yeah. from the cloth yeah. you've made it be known yeah, it? Yeah, but yeah, before fine. people are known you as like a community leader do you understand yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. actor do you understand what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like a public figure yeah let's say yeah, do you understand what yeah. i'm saying they're like seen as more of your strengths yeah, that makes yeah, sense yeah, yeah, yeah. so Thanks. but you being here makes perfect sense yeah, no, definitely. because I actually know I was there so I remember the do you understand what yeah, I'm saying yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. I remember the path like hold on no but I remember a man do... yeah, 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 so yeah. without me anyway forget me waffling on anymore because <laughs> that's I do that every week mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself um yeah now obviously like Vic Santoro <laughs> on, <laughs> if, if you didn't you know <laughs> Come yeah, on, um, man, respect fam um yeah now it's music isn't it like music is what I do I think over the, because of the other things that I do, the other hats that I wear, yeah. sometimes they've kind of like been more prominent, but I think people don't understand that those hats, I, get, I got to those hats from the music. From the music, innit? Like, so whether you've heard of me or not, you have to actually understand that the music that has, has to have had an impact for it yeah. to lead to all this other stuff. Yeah. Because these are not like, it's not just like normal career paths. Like, I've kind of, like, these are fruits of the music, so yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. And like, 
I feel like even if you was to go back and look for your stuff, you would find stuff from 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. And like, if you check that, that's, do you know what I mean? Like, you got music from way back, and I know that there's other stuff. I've seen stuff of yours on certain DVDs, mm, mm, and if you mm. check it, them DVDs was out before YouTube, before YouTube yeah. even started. Mm -hmm. They're just the people that were smart enough to upload the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the camera footage onto yeah, a YouTube. Yeah. Other people were ignorant, and just that's why things just got disappeared. Yeah, if nah, you ain't got the DVD no more. You don't, you, like, you're like, that's it's like your, he wasn't there, isn't he? Wasn't like, there. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't that's there. why everyone was going so mad for Terminator TV recently because mm. he's been posting all of the old DVDs. Mm, okay, Do you okay, understand? Okay. That's why he gets so much rating. Do you understand? Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Saying? Like, those, those are the, those are the things that built, you know, those are the foundation, the fabrics, those DVD days. Those like, DVD days. And mm. they're, they're not about no more. So, YouTube's the next thing. So, yeah, facts. But yeah. man was established and doing things from before. From way before that. Like, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, People forget that there was a time where there wasn't a scene. Mm -hmm. This thing called rap, the, these labels, no one didn't care about no rap. You couldn't no, even say yeah. you rapped openly. Yeah. It's like, well, you, it wasn't like, even cool. It wasn't even cool. It was like shunned. It was like your fantasies. Yeah. So the people that were actually like, no, we're not. We're actually sick. Mm. Like a culture built in the underbelly of the streets, like in the underground, in, you know, in the open mic rooms. Yeah. And like, so if you was... It's the same way if someone's interested in skateboarding or whatever, no, you know where to find the skateboarders. Yeah, you, know you might where, not see them on the high street. Yeah. But you, there is you a you know the, the the warehouse, the place you, that they're all doing do, the tricks and you And know. rap exactly was like that. You had to go find it in those type of places. In them places, and yeah, way before it became mainstream. So it's like so for it's just like yeah, a lot of people need to just just, just educate yourself on it. Like yeah. there's a big heritage yeah. of how, why we got to this point. Exactly. Yeah, facts. Oh, okay, cuz. So let's paint a picture then, innit? Let's tell them a little bit about yourself. You know them ones? Like, like where you're from. Yeah, your, your, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you was, like, what you was listening to musically mm. as well. Like, yeah. Yeah, now, so I was born in Cameroon. Yeah. So even from back home, like, rap was. And, and what year? Sorry. To so. <laughs> not like the, that, but you know what I mean? I was born in the 80s, innit? Yeah, so yeah. I'm an 80s baby. So okay. I was born in Cameroon. So. Back then, like rap again was like linked to break dancing and like cool stuff, like yeah, yeah. dressing cool and yeah. you know the mat trainers and this, yeah. this, this. so like by the time I'm outside, like in the nineties, like hip hop or rap itself was like yeah. was like a culture, yeah, type yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you had to know of a two pack, and yeah. that's why when you check it, it's like you look at even artists like that. Like I'm in the trenches in Cameroon, okay, and I know who yeah. you are. That's how powerful yeah, that's, music that's is. That's music's universal. Yeah, right? I'm in a place where we ain't got no electricity. Yeah, you get what I'm saying to you. There's a one man with, with a TV in the whole thing. We're having to watch the TV through the window in the little gap. You're trying to oh, talk, that's real. but I know who Tupac is. You know who he is, like yeah, yeah. Like imagine yeah, that. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, the yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. power of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, from then it was that those are the superheroes when yeah. I was growing up. So way before I came to England, so. Coming here, coming to England in the 90s, and then that passion was still there. So I yeah. came in, so I, so I live, I'm from Lewisham, so I came in, my family lived in Lewisham. Um, and, but it's like I almost started losing love for it because it's like it wasn't, it didn't exist here. It wasn't, yeah. rap it, wasn't. It wasn't the, the everything. There yeah, was, it wasn't that. There was other stuff going on. There was other stuff going on. So it's like, but I think obviously not that people, people have always been rapping then. I'm saying it's like, there wasn't like a for a kid that was trying to get involved. There wasn't like a clear idea of where do I go. There wasn't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, couldn't yeah, find yeah. the hubs. Yeah. Like wow, well, like yeah. I know there's somewhere where this is getting. Yeah, where someone's it. playing this yeah. or someone like. And then but. eventually, I I met up with some. There's a band called Django Thieves. So I used to do the summer arts college in Deptford in Albany. So I used to always be one of the musical students there, like as a kid. But so I so I ended up doing something with a band called Django Thieves, and then through that I got plugged into like. Oh right, this is where the, this is where this all happened. Okay, so that's when I started running, like running into the lineage of like your generation and all those yeah. people. It's like, no yeah. way, it's sick. Oh, this yeah. cinema, sick. This is... So it was like, even then, it was still that whole thing where you had to come to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah, know, yeah, you are, yeah, you are yeah, saying yeah, to yeah. it wasn't like there's a music video, mm -hmm. and then then he went to music videos. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, before yeah, music yeah, videos, before it was like, you had to come outside to see yeah, that. You had to hear it. You <laughs> someone's phone, Bluetooth, <laughs> not even Bluetooth. I'm going mad. It was like, what is it? What's the red? What's the what's the other thing for not Bluetooth? Red, uh, infrared. Infrared, yeah, infrared, Beep. infrared. Hold yeah. it together, yeah. like. So you had to be outside to know what's going on. That's when you can make ringtones on your phone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You got what I'm saying? So I've been I've been in love with like music since then. Yeah. Like I've always believed, like I've always thought, like imagine mm. there was like a scene and people oh, were really interested. Youth, like, in, yeah, yeah, it was like almost that. Yeah, imagine, and you know, you tap your brain and say, imagine if like a music scene, imagine. Yeah. They're like, nah, that's an American thing. That's it's an never American thing, isn't it? Like, like that's what you're like, like, saying, oh. isn't it? Tupac and that, isn't it? Yeah, so I've always had a vid, so to see, so I was always going to do music because I love poetry. Yeah. Um, I love literature, full stop. Like, you know, going through school, like that was one of my things. So because I used to suffer from a stutter, I couldn't argue. Okay. So when I tried to get in arguments, obviously I'll start stuttering, the other kids start laughing. So yeah. I, because I couldn't express myself, exactly. I'd want to get in a fight. Yeah. So what used to happen is the teachers used to make you stand in front of the class and read okay. them times yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah, that was yeah. like a trauma. I'm like, yeah, these yeah. men are going to yeah, just bust yeah, up yeah, every yeah. line. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to get through this. So I used to cram the books because you know what books you're reading and what page yeah. you're running. Next yeah, week, yeah. we're going to start on page whatever. Probably practice. So I used to cram it. So literature became something I really liked. Yeah. So that's yeah, how yeah. even now I built my memory bank. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I so that's saying. why I like, I like poetry straight away because I loved, you know, haikus and so I kind of got into all of that. So I loved what, so I've always loved like words, putting it together. So seeing lyricists or seeing artists for me was just like, wow. This man know the magic in what yeah, they actually like, wow, doing. Did you, did you just hear what you, you said? said you, like, did, you know that word's got three meanings in it? Yeah, and when you yeah. add it to that one, he's basically could be... Like, so I, you know, I get See, caught rappers, up. yeah, deep down we're nerds, you know. But you know, like, when it comes to this, like, we might not show it to everyone, but you see, when it comes to this, that's why we can recognise each other. It's like, a, it's a real life super real life. You know them ones, like, you can, you can recognise, yeah, that one knows words. You know them yeah. ones, like, he knows the, sp like, you understand? Cause? Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm a geek, I'm like, I'm a literature geek. It's just like, so when I hear a sick bar, I'll, I go, oh my days, did yeah. you hear what my yeah, man yeah, just said? Yeah. It makes you want to go rap. <laughs> yeah. I have to go home and write something now because yeah. I'm hearing that. I'm so inspired by that. You know them ones? Yeah, and I never lost it. So I just carried on, you know, rapping from then through, you know, rapping on, on the corner. Mm. To, then you hear someone's got a DVD. You, you might all like, I remember you, you get them calls, like, I think, you see, there's some a brother there with a DVD coming, you would get ready. No, 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 come on, you just want to be, you yeah. want to shoot, you just want to spray these bars. <laughs> Where's my man? You would do, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. come up late and hold licks for that, everything, because yeah. you want to, you're like, nah, I need to go get these bars yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, you don't even know the name of the DVD, <laughs> you don't, you don't know even know, but you yeah. know that it's going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. the yard. Yeah. Then she's going to circle, it has yeah. to. You're like, i got to get these bars and off. People are buying the DVDs this time. So, yeah, so that was the thing, that's the era I came through, so it's like, so yeah, I've always yeah been doing music since then. So even through school, um, that's one yeah. of my questions as well. You see your school, obviously. Let's give them a shout out. Yeah, it's school days. The reason why I ask that question is yeah because obviously shout out the school, yeah. but we also sometimes find out that no, this school was actually a talented school because mm. so and so also, went, also there. went there and so and so also went there. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. I've got like obviously I have to go back through all the um episodes that I've asked people, but there's some people that it's like, okay, you can see why they was gonna go on to do music because there's about five other musicians, like the lineage of music is running through yeah. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. like let's give a shout out to your school. Yeah, now. my school I went to St Joseph's Academy in Blackheath, but it's been closed down now, it's now called St Matthews, but St Joseph's was an all boys school. Um <laughs> And yeah, the music class and the drama class was really mm. where is that. So, yeah, and, and I think in general, like even from then, being from Lewisham, there's a lot of like the talent was like yeah, just yeah, the arts was very prevalent. Yeah, you know, there was always rappers mm. and DJs and because mm. you know back then it was like in the early early days the sound clash, like the Vikings versus the Saxons. This is like okay, this yeah, is, yeah, this yeah, so yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took the way back. Way back. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you, you get me? Don't be the comments like the who versus the who. Yeah, <laughs> the, the people that's here know. <laughs> they know, they know what I'm talking about. They know the language. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so yeah, so Lucian had always been that. Always, you know, arts had always been the thing you could partake in, even in, mm. even you know, from a kid. You got any names though? Uh, what in terms of like, like, yeah, you know, like not like if they was there when you was there, but just like, bam, this person passed through there, that person. Um, so my school. People At the time, are more, people are giving up names. Like more, more footballers are prevalent. I don't think no one really. Football, well, that still counts, though. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. talent and it's. We had someone from our school get you know go on to do Premier League football. I think arts wise, it was still. It was still at its inception of somebody really believing it can go anywhere. Yeah. So we were just like almost like. 
the music geeks that hung out in the music class and in the drama class. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, them man, they, they think they're American. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> them and are rapping, they think that that's yeah, so, yeah, our, yeah, you know, it was them times. It, it was them times. So there was not really like, nobody really believed in it in that mm. sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. You that's have to go find it. And when you find people that believe, you're like, oh my days, I met some brother, he can rap as well. Mm. So yeah, man. Mm. All right. Well, cuz, all right. Name meaning. Yeah. Mm. Now, that's what I'm saying. That's how I know how long I've known about you rapping. When you was rapping first, you your name wasn't Vic Santoro, it was just Vic. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Innit? But I know that there's people like myself, I don't know. See, for me, if you said, oh, his name's Vic, okay, his name might be Victor. That's just yeah, me, that's yeah, my yeah, analogy. Yeah, yeah. But there are people that just don't know Vic Santoro, what does it mean? Do you understand? Yeah. So let's, let's break that down and how it even came about. Yeah, so Vic <clears throat> comes from a, like, I come from a, so, prior to coming to this country, see like how they had this a system of pro due process. I don't know that I come from a system of like tribalism yeah. and that type of stuff. So I'm very like, I don't want to say, I'm very like, I don't want to, I'm trying to think of the right word. I don't want to say the wrong word for YouTube. I'm very tribal, the way I am and the way I see mm. the world, the way I see things. So growing up as a kid, I always felt like me and my friends, we were all victims. Okay, okay, okay. Like, so okay. I was like, the jarring you on the block talking about yo man like mm. the system and this mm. and yeah look what they've got us in and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, brother, forget about brother, part, brother, brother, forget that you're listening to too much that i'm gonna allow it i'm listening you know what i'm saying changes i'm saying your tupac's got that. a point but i'm like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you listen to changes and all that in it like so it's like i said victims man we're victims man you get what i'm mm. trying to say to you so it's like the man them just stuck it like so okay yeah victim you get it like okay. so yeah, that's yeah. where that where it was stemming from like oh, my man that like, he's gonna talk, watch he's gonna start talking about what victims like in a second yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah 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 so that was like from the early early days so it's like so it was like a running joke of the man that, oh victim okay yeah, here we go yeah, we yeah. see victims yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah, so yeah, it okay, stuck nah. through that but I embraced it because for some people like sometimes you have no choice for, like, back you know them days that in the old days when the man them give you a name and just stuck there's a lot of people that grew up with like weird names yeah, yeah. Got, everyone. You got, no, I had a name that just stuck. Unless you said my name is, um, you know when someone's given them their self a name because they probably made up a mad name. Like, yeah, my name's Stabber. Or my, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, shooter. Yeah, yeah. You give yourself that yeah, name. Yeah. But everyone else gets an appropriate name they, for the time. Whatever they've done, then, like, yeah, whatever that's you, your name. That's your from, name, innit? Yeah, from now on. So <laughs> that sort of went from that. So, but by the time I was in, but that was like primary school. So by the time I'm in secondary school, it's just Vic. Yeah, okay, yeah. So there yeah, is still yeah, yeah. parents that think, I've just known you as Vic since you were in yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, even... Yeah. They don't even know. They don't even know there's a government name. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't even what? know. Like, yeah. I'm all thinking your name's Vic. I was like, <laughs> there you go. Madness. Yeah. So through that, because my whole life, everyone... I've got friends that will say, I've known you. Since we was in school, I've known you as Vic. They're all thinking you're still... They're all thinking, oh, you're, I thought your name was always Vic. I was like, why is it from school? You've been Vic, blood. Man, been calling you Vic since school. I thought it was like a shoot for Victor. I'm like, no, like, you know what I'm saying? So. It went from that, so Vic had kind of just stuck um, with me, and then Santoro came later on, where it was like it was like a it was like the transition, in it. Santoro mm -hmm. means prophet in Italian. Okay. But also Santoro was based on also Nicky Santoro. Okay. You know, like yeah. that was depicted in yeah. Casino. So I actually was when I was you know oh, yes. okay. sitting down, I was yeah, watching yeah. a lot of stuff about the mafia, this, that, and the third, and there was like characteristics about him. Like how he used to evade the law and yeah. the police always yeah, blamed yeah, him yeah, for yeah, stuff that yeah, they yeah, can never yeah, prove he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I kind of felt like I can relate to a that. certain extent. Yeah, course, in, a, in, a, in a smaller scale, but I was like, yeah, you know what, like, yeah, the type of thing. So I'm sitting down in the Young Offenders. I'm like, I feel like Santoro. You get what I'm yeah. trying to say? They're, treat, they're, treating me like, they're treating me like Santoro. I'm like, you get, yeah. you get it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just feeding myself. Take one <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do, yeah? See, when the guests come on, yeah, I let them speak for about 15 minutes. And then I say, yeah, yeah, you're ready now. Hold a drink. <laughs> so it's like, you get me? I mean, I you get Santoro. me? I mean, they're like, you get me? Do you press up saying, yeah, they treat me like Santoro. <laughs> <laughs> Blaming me for things I didn't even do. What's wrong yeah. with them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're lying to themselves. <laughs> you 
practice in the lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Got me all in there, like, man, this time, the other man, you're my yeah. sister, shit. That's yeah. the egos. This time, all the egos created. Yeah. You know what I mean? The front's a little bit developed yet. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're just telling yourself whatever. You've you got to say it enough times until it becomes like yeah, the truth. Yeah, and that's what you're running with. You're just like, yeah. nah, man. Wasn't yeah. me. You took it like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so great. it's just like so again Santoro was a, was a name from the landing because I was away for so long it's like I'm, you know mandatory mm. yeah, they treat me like Santoro you man you get me yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yo yeah. Santoro yeah, so you get me so it. now yeah, yeah, yeah. you get me because I, I kind of grew up in the system Yeah. so you've known me as Santoro from juvenile Yeah. so by the time you see me in the cat A Mm. I'm still Santoro. You're like, I was in Juvenile with Santoro. Yeah, 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 you might always yeah, yeah. see a man from Lewisham, like, do you know a brother called Santoro? Man, yeah. said, there's no man in Lewisham called no Santoro. One, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the, that yeah, name. Yeah. 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 So man's just got to put them together. Together. Now. So and then, until you say, no, my man, Vic. No, I, I know him as Vic. I was okay, like, no, yeah, okay, I was Vic in, okay, I wasn't seeing with him. No, nah, man called him Santoro. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, my yeah, names yeah, were actually yeah, earned yeah. in that type of yeah, in that type yeah, of way. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. San, you know, Santoro, man. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I got friends that just call me Santoro and they call me no. Vic. It's like a funny thing. They'll come in the room and go, Santoro. <laughs> <laughs> I start busting up what you say. You still think they treat you like Santoro? I'm like, nah, man. Yeah, they yeah. know the story, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 they know the real about it, innit? That, yeah, see. That's where you can know you know people by you know you know where you know them from by the name they call you. You know what I'm saying, mm, isn't it? Like, mm. you know what time of life you know these people from. Yeah, no, yeah. So that's that's what's my ribbon. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, <coughs> influences. Yeah. You see, like, musically around your... You know, like, when you first got into music, what yeah. was your influences? Obviously, I know you said Tupac, but... I'm yeah, now, the heavier... Nah, inf- the UK. Yeah, the heavier influences, the UK. It was like, um, you know, the Kalashnikov, the skinny man's. Roots Maneuver. Okay. Um, it was like, they used to, I used to go to the jump off. I <laughs> used to go jump to the off jump, jump off. Heavy, and I used to think, heavy. I used to, you know, like, I'm a kitchen. I think, I thought I could rap. Then I go there, I'm like, yeah, nah, I need to go and practice. I just saw, yo, no, my man. I disagreeing, going mad. Yeah, how did, like, how did this one do this? And yeah, how did, yeah. I'm that guy at home, like, nah, like, I, you're taking it, like, to heart, like, no, I need to practice. Yeah. So it was, some, it was some around them time. So, like, Black Twang. Yeah, you know the earlier days you like so yeah. I remember that earlier lineage and it was like you no know, prior to that the guys that were rapping before that respectfully were trying to rap in American accents yes yeah yeah right so man would still be taken in because it's some type of it's still one of our own yeah 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 but when I was around Django Thieves and those lot and they were rapping with like live bands yeah it was like they were rapping in English, English and saying stuff that I was just like it sounded like what us, man, like, like, like us. What, you know what I'm saying like it sounded English. So when it? that generation of the Clash and Twangs and you when you look yeah, it was yeah. just like oh shit like yeah, we got yeah. our own thing. So because I'd always been listening to the thing over there. Yeah. For me as a fan, having my own our own thing that was everything. It's like man, course, what this rap has hair fam. We talking yeah, about listen definitely. to my man, listen to my man, listen to like I'm a fan in it. So it's like I was just like as a kid it was that was just the. Writing, listening to something and then going away to write here was, was everything to me. So, yeah. Them guys were heavily on the, um, on Channel U. Them yeah. Times, and I swear you was on. Yeah, well, I was on Channel Yeah, I came with that. So that's what I'm saying. So I was on Channel U. But that's the thing, though. Can you imagine, though? Like, just think of it of a, of a kid, like, from the trenches. You've been rapping for, like, for years, just, ne- mm-hmm. you know, thinking this thing can happen. Yeah. Then one day, it's like, you're going to all these open mics, you're seeing all these things, and then there's a, there's a channel. You just come home. What, how did it? How did you they, find like, out about they, Channel U? They're playing it. This must be like I'm just thinking. You're that watching it. Channel U started about 2003 it, or 2004. Before that, Channel U was like 2002. The end, maybe I think I don't know. Like 2002, Channel U was that yeah, kind of came around. It just popped up like, it's like yeah. yeah, you go home and it's like yeah, there's videos. 2002, 2003. So I think something yeah. like that. Anyway, but for me as a kid to see that, it was just like. And then mm. hearing the rappers and being introduced to them, and it wasn't also that they used to do a thing there called a urban, urban music seminar. Okay, yeah, I've heard that people make mention of that. <laughs> urban music before. seminar, so you can go to these old panels with these artists and things like okay. that. There was like an infrastructure, like a like an outline starting to develop. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay. They held one. They used to hold it at Soundback Center. So go in there and then seeing it live, and you get what I'm trying to say to you. Mm. So don't get me wrong. In school, it was always like grime. That was it, like pirate yeah. radio, cassette tapes, yeah, radio sets. So I'm into all of that as well. Okay. By yeah, the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm of course, in, course. So it's just like so many worlds so like, going on. I, we couldn't have this, so I was just like the guy that would be doing that. Saying, "Yeah, but I can rap as well, though." Okay. 
Okay, so you in in the grime kind of world. Yeah, I just wanted to be involved, like in because music. I love music. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, yeah, and yeah. again, those guys was very lyrical, and then being in the school corridors, like, did you hear it? So, so, so on radio last night? Who's got the tape? Mm. That thing trying to find a man that's got the tape. Can you copy it for me? All yeah, of that, yeah. the two tape decks. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna make my rip off. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like those days, like the tape deck was every. You know I'm saying so. Like I was always into it, even from that. So to see. It, Channel used to a pop up for me was just like wow, like we've made yeah. it. Like I didn't even know what was going on. Like, <laughs> so that's when I said to myself, I've got to get a video there. But even then, it was just like I had a friend that had a camera. Okay, what well, one of them was it? He just had a hand. Was, he had like a, a hand. Well, I don't know. He had a camera. I don't know where this. Yeah. Guy, I don't know where this guy got a camera from. Yeah. He's not a cameraman. He's not a cameraman. Yeah. He just, he he just, just had a. a he, he just had, had a camera. camera. <laughs> so. <laughs> I start thinking, I said to him, you're what? And he used to produce, he produces, name M.E. He still produces now, anyway. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. M. Dot, like, so he was a producer. So I've been in his house, I've gone to his house, so he, you know, that's, that's what I recorded I my I've first song. I've seen him on a, on, a, on a podcast. I saw him talking about this story. Yeah. Now M. that you're saying it, I remember him. Yeah, M. Dot E's like. People used to just come to my house. Yeah, I, used, I go to his house, like, M. Dot E, like, cold, like, so it, like, he, go in there recording. Sometimes he had, he had the mic attached to the bunk bed, like, we, he just knew stuff about music. He just music. knew stuff about music. I'm like, how does he not does he understand that? But it was like yeah. the sickest thing ever. So go there, record. Then I said to him, well, can you, with the camera, can you, I want to shoot a video. That song we recorded the other day. You yeah. know what I'm saying to you? He's like, yeah, now nah, let's do it. And you can tell that there was, and the song Streets of Broccoli. Okay. If you look at Streets, that's my first ever song I recorded. Okay. Like, okay. actually okay. went to somewhere. Yeah. And I remember rec- seeing that. So then I know your history then. Yes. I'm thinking, you know, in the I know there's other stuff, the, but yeah. I remember that yeah. video. That was the first song I actually re- I recorded. So I just said to him, like, yo, shoot the video. You just shoot. We didn't know. It's just hold the camera. I was standing in front of it. Mm-hmm. And then it was them days where it's like... When is that? 2005? That's 2003. So I'm saying, because you've got a t-shirt on it and it says something. It's all five. Someone's coming out of jail 2005. Okay. Wow. But <laughs> wow, you like I'm I mean? saying, he's gone to yeah, 2005. Yeah, like, yeah, wow, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, in my head, 05 <sighs> is enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 05 yeah. is enough. Like, yeah, no, nah, well, like, yeah, you get me? That's, old, that's stamped. So that's like, you're saying it's oh, safe. So it's like, so with that, I just kind of, you know, them times there's no phone, there's no, we're not, there's no WhatsApp. You mm. just put the word, I say, you man, I'm shooting a video. What? You should, what? Mm. They shouldn't have been. So, so everyone's like, everyone came my up. My, in my it. mom come up from work on the bus. She got off the bus. She's like, "There's a hundred people outside on the front line." I see your mom I'm shooting the video. She's like, "A, hey, just like, what are you talking about?" And B, what? That's what you lot all here for. Like, yeah. you lot, you lot got nothing better to do. That's how yeah, she's looking. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what video? You, you, like, what video? You never like, displayed <laughs> this. What are you talking about? What are you talking, talking about? about? You got to say this. So that's that was how Streets of Brooklyn was shot. M. E actually shot the video and edited it. This is before we even there was yeah. no YouTube then. And and then so what you and then you just took it straight to um No, it's so mad. This is why the power of words, like this is an mm. and this is an important segment. If you go back and listen to that lyric, the first You say something come on back, the first you verse, you're saying you're, I don't I said, even know. I, I said I, know. I said I can't <laughs> think straight. Yeah. My brain's all clogged up. By the time you hear this bar, I'll probably be locked up. Mm-hmm. By the time the video aired, I was in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't yeah. get to see so no, see no nothing. What yeah. it did, like it was just like, yeah, I was in jail by the time. And it's like I always go back now. Now that I'm sort of like more mentally developed, I'm like thinking of those first two lines I said. Like yeah, I spoke you, it. You, you, you know what I'm saying in it. Like they would say, oh, you know, like it, it's a wife free zone, but they would have said gallifested. You, 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 you spoke it into existence. existence. That's what you and did. that's exactly how I played that. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. These words are spells, but we know that, innit? Yeah, so yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it was crazy, but yeah, that happened. And then obviously it's like, and then I was on there. I was just like, oh my day, sick. Did that yeah. And then my mum kept the DVD of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cuz, so listen, so you're in jail and you, and your tunes on Channel U. How did it even get, did you, you knew it was going on Channel U or you was hoping to get it on Channel U? Um, there was someone that was, had it, it was just about paying some money to get it on. It was that's yeah. a, someone else. Yeah, and then and there was there was there was someone it was getting patterned somehow. Someone was patterning it. If I'm really honest with you, yeah. I don't know how. Yeah, just but I know that's how it ended up. It just there. Yeah, but you didn't even get to see it, cause no, that's crazy. The, until I went to a jail. Because in juvenile, some jails like they had a TV. What what they were trying? I think I was in Ashford, Bristol, mm-hmm. and then it come on the thing. 
<laughs> you come on like so you've seen it now it's there in your face on the tv and then because there's so much other videos and playing as well while you're in there i'm seeing what i know i would do yeah with this i'm this this mm. video is showing you know there's this 16 year old kid mm. with like a hundred people behind him this is back then yeah 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 yeah, and yeah, this yeah. is in a borough where it's like that's this is in the Lewisham borough, like, mm. and I think all the people that was in that video that I've never forgot it. They don't even know what it, I, they might not have fully grasped what it meant to me because mm -hmm. we was all the same age groups. It's just like that. Yeah. It's like, right, like that was the moment I feel like I'm gonna do this music thing because you're not believing me. Yeah, yeah, you came out because it's not a WhatsApp group thing. It's not whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, a word yeah. of mouth. Word what my mouth? Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, jump on the bus. Yeah, 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 yeah Got yeah. the train. Good. Yeah. So there's no car. Everyone ain't driving up, and none of that's happening. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, coming yeah. on bus. About, what, what's the motive today? What video? What, what shooting a video? What? Wait, wait. Turn. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. There's a lot of people in that. You can't put on about a lot of people. So when I kind of see, so I always look back to that, and I'm always humbled and grateful for that. But again, watching that in jail was heartbreaking. Of course, it must be in it. That must have killed man. You know them ones like people must have like. People recognizing you and stuff and that and saying, it's like yeah you, again because in jail I'm still rapping I'm still in the exercise yard okay yeah so I'm still I've always, I've always loved the craft but it was almost like yeah man it's you saw yeah, it man yeah, yeah, yeah you ruined it man flopped, yeah, you like, just, yeah, you flopped, flopped like, like yeah you flopped, flopped like yeah you flopped you got on like man's on the TV yeah, like, and you're just sitting in there just like just sitting there like yeah but even then there was still no internet like that so it wasn't. If, if you was watching Channel yeah, U, you saw yeah, it. Yeah, it, it wasn't, wasn't a, outside. It was mad, like a mad wind, wind up, wind up. Wind up, but, yeah. It was but just it's still. It was still. Be biting my skin, fam. I tell you that. Because <laughs> I, I, before I see it once, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> do you know them ones? Like, it's all right, cuz. Your first. Your first CD, your first rap CD that you ever purchased with your own money. Mm -hmm. What was it? Because you probably had tapes, remember? Yeah, I had tapes. Different you had tapes. We had and then and then random that had CDs. You get them to burn CDs for you. Yeah. And every so often you'd go to the market to buy the actual burnt CD. So that's why I used to go to Black Market in Lewisham to buy mm. to buy my CDs. I'm trying to think. Well, I'm such a took kid, your it? money, like no, I'm pocket. purchasing this thing here, like. Because remember, we used to listen to albums properly. It was like the music was timeless. Was remember, timeless, yeah, yeah. we'd listen to music from 20 years ago. We're yeah. still listening to it now because yeah. it was timeless. Now it's microwave, so we don't really treat the music the same. Same, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I don't know, maybe it's us disrespecting the music. We, yeah, there, there, there's an or element maybe of there's there's a, so many rappers. Yeah, so. there's an element of that. So it's like, I'm trying to think though, first CD, because it might have been a Jay-Z um, CD, you know. Paid five pounds for it. I think outside Lewisham train station. Cover every time. I just got this <coughs> CD Walkman from Woolworths. I thought for me that was like gold. Yeah, yeah, CD yeah, Walkman. Yeah. Like <laughs> I went Woolworths and I got that. And I thought, <laughs> I thought, yeah, this is. I'm in the game. <laughs> I've graduated from the cassette Walkman to the CD yeah, now. Yeah, 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 What's man talking yeah, about? Yeah, you better respect my thing when I come through with my headphones on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I'm on the bus later. I think, yeah, at them times I was like, you know, that, that, I think I might have bought a JC, but I had I had a guy, a friend, you know, I had that one friend that had the CD burner. Yeah. So okay. I used to just, I'll be honest, just used to rip everything. Just get everything, yeah, yeah. Of I course. used to just rip most things, the things that I like, the moment they come out, you know, you find that person that has bought, got that, bought the, actual CD, the actual say, CD. Brother, please, I beg you, listen, I'll bring it back to you. Like, couple, like I bet you, listen. Like, you guys, <laughs> now you got your copy. Yeah, come now on. I got my copy. It's only right, though, fam. Come on, man. You, you don't want to lend that to man because the man scratched your CD. It was them days. You it's scratched my CD. Yeah, it's yeah, beef. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, like, yeah. it's God, beef. Man, we used to read it's the, like, bro, um, like, I gave you my CD. Like, yeah, that was beef. Them time. Don't scratch my CD. You guys mad. Man would read the, what's it called, innit? Like, the, you know, the book, you take it out. Read the, read the, the credits. Read the credits and the little story or whatever. The big ups, like, you know them ones you find out who did what their name is yeah nah, real, nah, real life yeah real life. <laughs> so what are you saying it was a jay-z one what, what what album would that have been i think i bought i got reason no i got reason without later yeah yeah i got reason without later because reason without was 96 yeah so i think 2000 2001 because the reason that reason i've got my god that maybe Blue, nine, what's nine, that yeah. blueprint in it yeah so blueprint was actually the first album i yeah. bought for five pounds yeah 
blueprint. Heavy blueprint. Track there, was, track, track, there was another b- one before that. Obviously, my man thing. When he did the joint thing with my man, yeah. that's in the thingy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when they yeah. did that joint, I'm best of, I'm best best of, of both, both worlds. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was that. That, that was. It was that at the time. As yeah, because well. he was and he was and it was just like, yeah. yo, this must. Yeah, you know what yeah, saying? this must be. Cr- yeah. Yeah. So it was random times, but I think in terms of like rap market days, I bought everyone's CD from the market. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the best, I'll be honest. One of the best tapes at that time was the tape what thingy dropped, um, Skinny Man Council the State of Mind, and um, for the UK, yeah, for it? the like, UK and like Kalashnikov's tape. When he has songs like Black Rose and like he was touching on like Nas Nas esque, yeah, type. He giving me Nas type vibes. Like so, mm. for me to kind of there's, a, there's, a, there's like a Nas in the UK, mm. yeah, like yeah, that was yeah, like yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. you get what I'm saying to you. So I remember, I remember, yeah, those projects. I think those are like my first early like. On repeat type projects. Yeah. Yeah. Cold, cuz. You know what I'm saying? You see, like, you know, when you tell the story, you can hear the lineage, you can see the path that a man's taken. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can yeah. see why he rapped, why you rap how you rap. rap. Yeah. Do you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah, 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 yeah. it's, it's all of the environment that man's been taking in from, nah, from them early times, isn't it? Trust. Um, all right, cuz, you know what? It's deep. You've got to learn the cold of the street. Because like I said, most brothers out here playing for keeps. The beginning is the end. The rich go broke. Some, Some get immune, immune to weed, weed and turn on coke. Some can't hack gel. They die on the rope. The system's messed up. The one are stuck. So we've got to keep moving okay, till we cool. get to the top. Cause I wrote that as a 16-year-old. Okay. That's how I felt. That's, and that's... So when we go back to victims... Yeah. You can hear it. You can hear it. You can hear it. You can hear it. Yeah. You can hear it in the first part. <laughs> that, that's how I... That's how I yeah. uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? And... That second verse there is who I am now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, cuz. And you see, it's mad that that's the um, song that I picked that lyric from. Do you get what I'm saying? Song, because it's so significant to you as well. Mm. And I didn't know it was... I just thought, yeah, this was a big track. I actually remember this one. You know, like when mm. people say, oh, he wasn't there, or he wasn't... <laughs> when you hear that <laughs> flying around, I think, no, but hold on, I remember that. Yeah. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I then. remember that one though, and I remember like there was um, streets wanna know. There's like a streets DVD. wanna know no. DVD. Yes, like, you, did, yes. you did a tune with um, USG before they were even USG. Yeah, but, yeah. I swear they was called the Suspect. The suspect gang. There was yeah. the Suspect I went, gang. I, yeah, I went. Uh, yeah, shout out to Coke. Uh, Coke. Yeah, that's what I, said. I knew Coke from then. I was going acting on it. I went acting and link Coke from then to do that, th- those songs. You know what I'm saying? That's like traveling there. And this that's the belief of finding other guys yeah. that are from the cloth. Mm-hmm. So it's like what this North the man are from the yo there's sh- other people that's rapping and, and you get what I'm saying, saying and I'm, on this thing and as I well. met Coke through a song I did with Birdie Ruff. It's called Get the Ghetto Superstar Remix. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it was me, Birdie Ruff, Keiko, Clue, M dot E. And that's probably the same time first time I probably met Joe Black. Okay. Yes. But this is okay. back then. Back then, and then way back. and then Cole, it's like, but them time the music love the people that love the music always connected. It's like, yo, bro, your verse is sick, yo, bro, your verse is sick, yo, we should yeah. in the studio. Yeah, yeah. The love for the art was like, was you know, prevalent and very prominent. Mm. So yeah. So you've gone and see, so you see all of these people like see like Clue. Mm. Where do you know these? I know you Clue from then, but just for music, literally link through music. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm I remember saying. this. And you know what? That's what that's what I'm, I want to explain the significance of the love of the music. We were just. Kids on the streets mm-hmm. that but happen to, to be, be able to not even think about the street side. It's like, and the love for the music is yeah, what yeah, it's yeah, like, bro. Yeah, you're yeah, cold, no, yeah, you're yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, boom. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, people that my area powerful. see people that my area necessarily doesn't necessarily get on, or they I don't even know them politics. You mm. know why? Because I know a rapper. <laughs> yeah, I know a rapper from over there. Yeah, and when I link them, that's my brethren. You know them ones. Because you know we've been rapping like. Do you get what I'm saying? So when, like, kind of, to a certain, just try and keep out of the politics. Do you get what I'm saying? But I know, do you know what I mean? We'll know rappers from all different parts. And it's the baddest of the baddest as well. Do you yeah, understand? Like, like, yeah, yeah. It's the like, illest of the illest. Illest. They all flock together, you know Yeah, what music saying? brings people together. So I've seen, and this is why for me it's like, for the people that say he wasn't there, it's me, no, you wasn't there. Because I knew, who, like, for example, Jerry, I knew Posty when he was, I knew a when he was rapping. Yeah. Okay, yeah. man, don't yeah, even yeah, know yeah. that part. Man didn't even know that one there. You know, and even when he was rapping, yeah. like, and when it was like, so mm. before these channels came around, yeah, when Jamal got his first camera, when yeah. this happened, yeah, yeah, when yeah. that happened, when this happened, so naturally, being part of the lineage like that, there's an element of I get why people wouldn't know 
certain because things because you wasn't there. there. You wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. It's you're not me. It's not me there. that wasn't there. Yeah, you're saying I wasn't there, but you, you weren't there. He wasn't actually there because <laughs> you weren't there. These guys can say, "No, I remember him from back then." That's what I'm saying. Like, it, 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 like I said, it's the things like the YouTube that's tricked us because this hasn't got all the information. <laughs> it's not all there, so people are just going off of what they see. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm saying too, and this is like if we're talking, there, there is there is parts that, and then in our area where it's fin tapes and mixtapes and whatever. Now there's mm. two places, Spot Rushes, Ruthless Records. Yeah, it's just like yeah, yeah. Ruthless Records. Come on, that's our, come on, Ruthless. man. You've got Wembley, go Wembley. You know what I'm saying? You see the bootleg version of it as well. Like there, there, back going. I'm talking way back then when Ruthless used to manage gigs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you Morrison, get what I'm saying too. Gigs, Morrison, when Morrison did. It. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Bear, fin tapes, yeah. when the market day. So even with that. I'm still my heart, my the first mixtape. The, the plastic, thin tape yeah, for the, the little plastic. Thing, come on, plastic thing. Bam, put a little cool picture. Look right the at thing, the back in the market, shutting it. Go. So I'm still part of that generation because my tapes are still selling in the market. You can, yeah. My tapes are still in Ruthless Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a transcendence like yeah. type thing. So for me, it's like I don't get caught up on who says they don't know, or didn't know. It's like, bro, you wasn't there, bro. Wasn't like there, there was clear receipts. There, there's what's it called? <laughs> uh, let's give them some names of them mixtapes. So are like, they, oh, see the mixtapes. Are they available to? N- bro, no, you know that's the one them, thing. So hardest in the city was the one that is like, I remember ruthless. First time meeting him, he had heard that I had the tape. I'd recorded the CD, put on a normal CD, pressed it. You know, like you press it in your brother's yard, mm-hmm. and I'd wrote, I'd wrote hardest in the city on it, and I'd think he somehow got it. Mm-hmm. And I remember him ringing me. He said, "Come link," and I drove to East Ham <laughs> yeah, to link him. He's yeah, like, really "He's like, yo, we need to put this out officially, properly. Like, bro, yeah. like this is cold." I'm looking at him like, "Them time I'm still like, I'm, I'm on the pavement, so it's just kind of like, what do you mean put it out? What does that mean? Like, mm. and this and that man can do 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 after like that time when you know gigs is dropping hard body, there's the hollow mix blade yeah, and then there's yeah, this. So that yeah. lineage of the propane, the yeah, 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 the timber, the timber was there. The, like there's a lot of man I remember. So it's Young's like Tef was Young's Tef, there. yeah, he went Tef dropped like Tef London. That that yeah. was his the, 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 that that right, Mister. Those days, GMT one like yeah, 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 grown man, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he would tell you I was Maybe. at a launch party then for GMT one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you yeah, get what I'm yeah, saying yeah, to you? Yeah, I was yeah. there. Man's got the stories. Guys. The stories. They don't tell. I was in the outside the GMT part, outside roof down. That was then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, thing, so for man. me, I always the support I have for the scene now for the people that know me. Don't know. He's always been. He's yeah, a man yeah, that yeah. loves this thing. Mm-hmm. He will always pull up and mm. show love. And if you go back into like, we're not even talking about just the male rappers. Like, I'm a big Paris One fan. Yeah. Come on. She's cold. Been cold. You get what I'm saying been to you? Cold. So it's like I'm I know. Not repping it. I know the pen. Yeah, you I know, respect. you know the other, uh, like, you, you know what I'm saying? And I respect the people, people who just know this person and that no, person. No, 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 but man know the actual lyricist. That's yeah. why we all link up. That's why we all will somehow end up being in the same being place. Being in the same place. And, and it's just the love for the art. And that's why music is so powerful. And that's why it's like, I'm just sort of like, just grateful to kind of like be part of it, the ecosystem of it in any way, shape or form. You get what I'm of saying course, to you? So, definitely, yeah. fam. So, because... Well, um, was you in any collectives? Yeah, so no, I wouldn't say I was in collectives. So Tizzy Gang, yeah, <laughs> Tizzy, Tizzy Gang. Gang. Okay. So shout out, you know, Murky Ace, you know, Cadell, Mik, Trey Mission, Nasty Jack. Like so I, this is grime, right? Isn't this it? is grime. Okay. See, see okay. man, didn't even know. So yeah. it's like I've gone through that everywhere. So I've come out. So I'm coming out of jail, 2015, and like. I'm saying, and I'm realizing the lineage has been erased. So man's looking at me like, "What's my man doing it?" <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine the audacity? Yeah, like look at everything history we just gone yeah, through yeah. for me to arrive at 2015. The man's looking at me like, "Who's my Who's man?" This? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do this rap thing. Well, I'm trying to do this rap thing. Yeah. So it's like I'm seeing the thing, and then the, it's now at the time where the money's starting to come in. So everybody's like trying to rush through this one door. And obviously, I've gone to the door, like, I saw a man I know about, I said, yo, fam. He looked, he looked at me like he didn't know me at all before. I said, Ra, what? I knew my man. I said, maybe he didn't see me. <laughs> maybe. Let me knock the window. It's nasty times. It's Let me knock the window. Times. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, fam, can you make him walk the door? Way. Man's looking that way. Man's looking that like, way. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Guy on their phone. Guy on their phone. I'm saying, Ra, so I'm walking, man. I said, what? I'm saying, 
it's outside, isn't it? I'm saying, there's no way in this. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, they're moving mad. Mm -hmm. I'm reaching out to a man from my time. I said, yo, fam, what? you see what's going on? I said, yeah, that's just how it is, you know? I'm like, I'm like, fam. I can't believe it. Like, can't believe it. <laughs> can't believe it. Got to start again, like, got to like, build up something. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nah, I'm not having this. So, <laughs> you know, the rest of the guys in this gang, you know, try, you know, those are my brothers and it's like, and I think one of them said to me, like, bro, like, just come and see what, like, the gram, to see what I've got in it. Like, the rap mm. thing's too mad serious and that, this, this, that, and the third. And it was so mad. I went on to that by going on radio set to them. Listen, you know, being a lyricist, you can okay. adapt. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, send me some beats with those tempos. Yeah, spit fast. I, stop the, the, like, I can like, see the mic getting passed around the room. And I love that because the rappers are too, like... Yeah, I'm not passing that mic around the room. Yeah, but yeah. I grew up when the mic was yeah, passing yeah. around Let's the room. Let's hear your bars, man. Come Let's on. hear the bars. Let's you know what I'm saying? But got, the rappers like... don't want to do that. So I'm in the room with the Grammy MCs and started this mic's going around the room. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, I'm yeah. shelling. Yeah, so yeah. now I'm standing around the room thinking, but brother, you said you're a spitter. You better get some of these beats yeah. and get with the program. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you're just standing in the you're room like a lamppost, like what, standing here. No one ain't even passing. No one's not You got to say, like, you got, like, you want the. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you're all thinking, I hope man, I'm passing the mic because I'm not ready. Because the tempo, so it's like, but like any student, I studied it, went, practiced it. So now I'm in the sets. Mm. Now I'm um, the sets I couldn't get through the rich stations. I couldn't get into through the rap route. Yeah. Through that door. Now you can get in there. I'm from... in through the grammar. So I'm on Kiss. Like, bro, this, I'm a root kid. This, that, other. I'm, okay. I'm on one extra with Logan, and I'm with this one and that one. I'm doing boiler room. You know what I'm saying to because in gram they, they love, they love the yeah, art. Community. If you're there's a community there, if you're yeah. sick, you're just sick. It's yeah, like yeah. like I'm saying to you. Yeah, come true, come show you love, come true, man. Yeah, come true. Yeah, let's hear what he's got. Yeah, 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 nah, yeah nah, I like that. I like that. Come, yeah. you know what I'm saying to you, come true. So I was able to just keep the fire burning by doing that circuit. But what happened mm -hmm. is by the time I'd done all them radio shows and we had like an album deal and this, that, and the mm -hmm. third, okay. being me, mm -hmm. I'm building up my network. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying to you? So you man over there acting like you don't know me, watch this. So I'm building yeah. up my network, building up my network. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't going to walk away from rap because man was saying to me, rap's over, bro. Yeah. Our generation, the tick, man, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not that again. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, how, bro, how? Like, what mm -hmm. are you talking about? So for, in my head, that's what I was like, I had to build my contacts through that. So when I doubled back on a rerun, on a rap thing, yeah, nah. I don't need to knock on I that door, yeah, on that yeah, door yeah, no yeah. more. I know my man, I know yeah, my yeah, man, yeah, I know yeah, him, yeah. I know him. You get what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. And I live good with people, so I'd build good connections and friendships yeah, through that way. Yeah, yeah, good rapport. So, so I was able to come through and do my thing with the rap. With the rap as well now. But that was the route. That you had to Tizzy take, gang. you had to go through that. Yeah. To I did grind for two, I was doing those grind runs for two summers. But it was the best experience ever, like shows up and down the country, radio stations, radio sets, okay. always having to be ready, having bars. There's legendary sets of, you know, Rebecca Judd and, and all these different stations. You can look at every big station, mm -hmm. there's, sets, there's Tizzy Gang sets there where, mm -hmm. where, right. where guy mad, you get what I'm saying yeah. too. So, that was very, and then that's why I was. In I'm that glad team. you said that for this as well, you know, because I don't know how many people know about you. Just that's why they might think, oh no, he went jail, or he didn't do like. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? If you ask the Graham yeah. worlds, yeah, if you ask the Graham guys, that's why I still get love from there now because it's like I did the Red Bull Clash and all of that stuff. Okay, right. But Graham is not a thing right. where you know if you're in it, you're in it. So if you're not in it, you're not gonna know what's going on. You're not gonna. So know. while you're thinking it's not going on, I'm building all these networks. Man, out performing and doing bare things. You get what I'm saying? So. And then I was able to double back on rap and do my own thing, and I got signed. Coming, I got signed on a rap deal. Coming back round, of, you know, in the sense of, yeah, you know, after the, the so whole. Let's thing. break that down then. Um, yeah, getting signed, like. Yeah, getting signed. Um, I got signed by um, um Big Indy. So okay. shout out Richard, shout out Jackie. So Big Indy is a label based in Texas, America. Okay. Mad. <laughs> and the set of offices there and. I was able to take some meetings with them and became the flagship artist. Okay, yeah. On yeah. a two project deal. Okay. And then so now I go back to the guys that say rap's over. Yeah. It's like, yo, bro. They've been signed like yo. Yeah, like show you the balance, what it looks like. Yeah, there's a bunch of This is like, just of yeah. rap. I'm not yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying to you. Yeah. So those things I've always had my own little belief in what I'm doing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying to you? So it's just like so I just grinded through that and yeah, that's how I just kind of was able to cultivate a little corner that I'm happy with and I'm just cracking mm. on with it type thing. Yeah, no, that's heavy, cuz. So what would you say then, yeah? What would you say is your most known track? Um, Go on. Uh, most known track has to be... Bro, you know what is, yeah? I don't even know, you know, I couldn't even tell you. There's got to be, uh, there might be a few then. You know, like the track that people come up to you and say, Cause, duh, duh. you know, like, you know, then you get them fanatics that come up to you and start rapping lyrics. 
Um, I've got people that phone me and say certain bars to me, like, T-U-N-H, that smells hunt backwards. Like, I just know who it is because mm. that's their favourite bar. Like, I think it would be probably mixtape tracks. Like, I think the guy, the people that are listening from those days might come and quote something hardest in the city to me. I might, I might run into okay. it. Yeah. They might quote, I think with the newer stuff and in the streaming world, I think it's hard to tell because songs is about impact. I don't think it's about numbers. And people mm. listen to music with their eyes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so if it ain't got the numbers... So it's easy for someone to say this, the highest stream song is the most, is known, the song. most known song. But, but it's now not, I'm it's thinking not. about what's more impactful and I would still say Streets of Broccoli. Streets of Broccoli, it's still my, most, my first song definitely. ever is still the most impactful and yeah. memorable song. and It, 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 gives, it has it, other significances. Other significances. It? It's nostalgic. It takes people back to a time. And I suppose... Is just someone to see me still on that journey. It's, it's kind of like, oh right, that's nice to see that he's that still he's still doing he's still doing that because I remember him doing it from then type thing. Yeah. So and also my my branding is different in it. Like I'm a people's person in it, so I don't have no I, I don't care about like the fame or mm. I, I don't have those desires to be you know to be mm. in that space. I'm not trying to compete. Yeah. Um, I feel like everything I've made it through in life to be at this point, I've won already. Yeah. I'm yeah. grateful to God already. I'm not asking for. You know, I'm saying to you, however my experiences and my platform, if I can leverage it to empower someone else, that's more what I'm into. Yeah. And at the same time, Helping. my audience that I've cultivated, because I'm still selling at the O2 Islin. Yeah. Do you get know what I'm saying to yeah, you? Yeah. I'm still selling at these venues. Like, and I'm even grateful that that's even possible. Even possible now for doing it so and, long. Yeah, and the key thing I realise is, my niche is, it's not just about the music. There are people that may have not heard a song, but if I announce a show, they're going to come to it because yeah. they like me as a person. As a person, you've built up your so characteristics. I have, I have a different, I have that's support, the other, I have a support base that's not based that's on the other, random that's shit. That's the other hats that you wear. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? It's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it's like, what, why we, we kind of, now nah, you know what, I'm going to Your biggest collaboration. Swiss. To you. To, okay, that's sick. Well, what's that track? Transition. Transition. Yeah. That's out, isn't it? Yeah, Swiss, I'm, and I'm I didn't, I, I didn't mention Swiss. Uh, Swiss is one of my, Swiss is what, that's the big rap yeah, impression. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause yeah, Pain and, Pain and Music is in my top five albums. That's crazy. Period. Swiss, you know? Yeah, because you, you got to have bars to be rapping with these kind of guys. Fam. They're just going to like... Swiss don't have no... You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm just saying. Gonna just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're just going to get dismissed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just get dismissed on the track, fam. It's yeah. not even worth it. You know what uh, I mean, yeah, fam? Swiss, Swiss is like... That was like a... Mad moment. That's what I'm saying. Man's won already. So whatever little goals I had, yeah, you've already music like, that I've did it, like, them and achieved with, them. Yeah, from the shows to the this to the that. So I'm just at a stage where I'm just grateful in it. Like I yeah. just, it, it would be nice to empower someone else. However, I still love the art that I'm gonna carry on doing it anyway. Yeah. But I'm not trying to compete. Definitely, cold. Ah, uh, you know what, cause yeah, you know what, yeah, cause ah, uh, cause times. <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna do. Recently, you've let everyone know. I'm a rapper because mm -hmm. we could talk about your acting and your accolades. We can talk about your, you see how you said you've got all them people following you because they just like you as a person, not necessarily because of your rap, because you do this. But recently you said, no, nah, I'm a rapper. You had a clash, a legendary clash legendary one. with Joe Black. Facts. This is like self-proclaimed king of the underground, Facts. you know, like. From our times, people know like, yo, Blacks. this is, this this is yeah, heavy, Blacks, yeah, Blacks this is heavyweight. I, I used to rap with him. So yeah. even having to have my bars ready to try and compete with this guy on tracks, it's like mad. Mm -hmm. I even had a conversation with him recently and he said to me, Hunt, I've never been spun. And I thought, Blacks, I don't know what you're talking about. But that's, you understand yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Like, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. part the, of the... That's part of the... Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what we... To yeah, get man, our yeah, man is going to say that. Tell you. <laughs> so with you... Yeah. There would have been a lot of people that might have thought, "Wow, oh, how are you going up against blacks? This is crazy," but that was fun. You did it, and you held your own. Facts. So no matter what, to me, no matter what people think of the result, because they say oh, this one won, I think you both won mm -hmm. because you we was both entertained. There was no fight at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you break down a little bit of how that went and yeah, nah, how you saw that? Yeah, no, nah, definitely. I think that was like. Unexpected, because people think that maybe we spoke about the clash before it happened. It just happened. He just went on a song. Obviously, I made a statement about. Um, let me not say I made a statement. I put, put a video up, mm -hmm. and I said in the video that I think rappers from that generation of that club don't care about it no more. Yeah. That's why you don't got us out here getting treated like anything. Yeah. That's why the industry they, yeah. they they just they just erasing us our history in our faces, yeah. and everyone's just like, yeah, that's just how it is. So you lot don't care about this sport no more. So mm -hmm. blacks. 
jumped on the track to demonstrate that mm. like, what are you talking about? We talking like, about I'm still like, here. Yeah, come on, I man. care about the school. Yeah. Um, and for me, it was he was the last person I expected to take the call because mm -hmm. I'm thinking there's better other people that can that, that can step can, up and yeah. say something, let alone you know him. So yeah, and I didn't expect him to take it because again he cemented in his space mm -hmm. like where he is in the music, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know history we got. Unless you're lying to yourself, Joe yeah. Blacks is a goal. Come you on, get fam. It. cool. So I'm thinking, bro, he. It was a privilege to get all your. This is big goal. It's almost like you know I'm gonna respond because, yeah. as much as you're, yeah. I'm still gonna respond yeah, because I come respond. from the club. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. So, and then we just engaged. I think we was aware of not to. That's that's the thing. Not with to the cross certain not lines. Not to cross certain lines. We was aware of that, but that was about it. It was just like say whatever else you need to say. But obviously, as long as we both were within certain boundaries, that was fine. And I think the people watching, they got. Because we did three rounds each, but people got caught up in the entertainment so much that they wanted it to turn into a cussing match. Mm. But that's how that's what happens to all rap battles when it's over. That's that's the essence of a great battle. Yeah. So for me, it was like, yeah, we went three rounds each. And it was a way to demonstrate mm -hmm. to the powers that be... That we can still do this. That thing. we can still do this. Like this like, this yeah. is what it really looks like. when Because yeah. when, when we don't really get <laughs> rap battles no more. Yeah. You know yeah. Ones. So yeah, to yeah, have yeah. that one, even though, like, at the time, I'm, I'm Blacks is my guy, fam. So I'm gonna be Blacks, but when I sit back and think about it, like, but hold on, though, like Vic's holding it up, though, you know, Vic, like, wow, that was decent. Like, man, can't you can't be a hater in? Yeah, you know, I, I but I love people didn't understand, yeah. The poll system on the internet, I'm, I feed off that. Yeah. Like, bro, like, my guys, like, I look at guys on the internet, I think this bro's like, I spent eleven years behind the door. Yeah. Did not affect me mentally. Yeah. Po internet so, yeah, internet polls is like water of a duck's back. And on top of that, I just find a way to flip the energy. Mm -hmm. It's just like, and it made it more interesting. The more the doubt was there, the more mm. shocking my rounds were. Yeah. He, yeah. He's and back again. It's just like, like yeah, he's, no, he's you know what? I can't one. lie. This one yeah, sounds kind of cold. I, yeah, you know what I mean? Man, I give it to you. Man, I give it end, to you. But at the end, man, is like, oh, you, yeah, no, you, you yeah. know what? All till now, I see man, I want to say, brother, I never heard your music before, but you, 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 got, you got a new supporter because it's like, yeah. it's like, because that's the only, the work has to speak for itself. Yeah. So I can't say all of that. Yeah, so yeah. I can't be like, you're supposed to know who I am, and you know, some egotistical. I can't be like that. Or yeah. I can't be like, no. So you have to earn it. It's like, okay, these people say they haven't heard of you. They haven't heard of you. Yeah. Show them who you are. Put the work in. Isn't Show it? them you what you mean when you're talking about that. Out. Yeah. They would have to eventually say to themselves, I can't lie. He can that's actually. That's what I'm saying. He can actually rap. Yeah, like, so so that was amazing to do. And it was also good to show the younger generation that you can engage like that. Um, and you don't have to pay attention to the five percenters that want to make it more than rap or they want yeah. it to go beyond that. Yeah. You ain't got to pay attention to those guys. It's like they're always going to be a five percent. art form, innit? We do lyrical art form. We exchange it. It's there for history. There you go. Because you know what? Yeah. This has been such a sick episode, yeah? But I know we haven't even spoke about everything. But like I say, <laughs> I'd rather the people say, part two, than we just waffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's one of them ones, wow, this was facts. short. I'd rather that. Yeah, no, so facts. what I'm going to do, cuz, man's going to wrap it up now and we're going to get, you know, the other part of what we do. I know what's going on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, this is your boy, H-U-N Tizzy, with... Vic Santoro. Yeah, this is the Golden Era UK Rap Podcast. Until next time... We all got dreams that we gotta pursue, I mean We all got dreams that we gotta believe in, I mean We all got targets that we gotta achieve So how can I rest when I got family to feed, I mean With my intuition I'll make wise decision I'll navigate the chaos and avoid collision Stick to the program and follow my vision I'm just trying to keep it real, I got a legacy to build it's Yo, real. I do